What is a box spring? What do they even do? And do you need one for your bed? Hi, I'm Wes with The Slumberyard, and in today's video, we're basically gonna do Box Spring 101. Think about this as a course, and I'm your professor. I'm basically gonna try to tell you everything that you need to know about box springs, and if you happen to want more information after this course is over, check down below in the description or go to our website, myslumberyard.com. We're gonna have some helpful links for you down there, but without further ado, let's get into box springs. Boom, 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 boom. Let's talk about box springs. At the Slumberyard. Box springs. So what is a box spring? Well, a box spring is basically a wood encased thing with some springs inside. It's covered by cloth and it's basically gonna give your mattress a little bit more support. Now these things are most commonly used with inner spring mattresses to provide an extra layer of support, but they can be used with any mattress. In general, a box spring is basically just gonna add some stability and height to your mattress setup. Now, what is the purpose of a box spring? You know, for someone in the mattress industry like myself, it sounds like a pretty easy way to get in that lucrative YouTube boxing industry. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Tune in for the event of the century with great undercard fights, such as Johnny G Unit G, who will take on the brand new trend of vegan beds. And stick around for Wes Money Mattress Weather versus bed brands changing their prices all the time. And you can't miss the main event of the night as Jay, the Human Fence D, voice and fists of the Slumberyard, boxes a real live box spring Tickets can be purchased on myslumberyard.com. Write us down below in the comments if you actually want to see this event. But jokes aside, a box spring is basically just a support for a mattress. It absorbs some of the impacts, whether you're jumping on a bed, rolling on it, whatever. A box spring provides a durable flat surface for your mattress that also can reduce the wear. Now, box spring can also keep your mattress off the floor, which is nice for the hygiene of your mattress. You know, it's not going to be getting dirty and covered in grime, and it can also extend the life of your bed while providing stability. Now, who should end up getting a box spring? Now, there might be a couple different groups that would end up benefiting from having a box spring, and I'm gonna cover them right now. The first one is anyone with an inner spring mattress. Now, a box spring just will provide more support, something that your inner spring mattress will probably need, and it most likely will help you extend the life of that bed. The second group that might wanna go with a box spring is someone that might want a little bit more firmness. In general, box springs can firm up a mattress a little bit. Without a box spring, mattresses can sag depending on what kind of foundation you have them on, but if you have them on a sturdy box spring, it'll stop any sagging, or at least it'll reduce it. Now, the third group of anyone that might want a box spring has to do with someone who wants their bed a little higher. Maybe you're in college and you're tired of sleeping on the floor where all the dirt and grime from your college parties are. You wanna be above that, get yourself a box spring. It might be a good call in the long run and it might save your mattress years of wear and tear. Also, anyone with a flimsy frame, something like a metal frame or a frame with not that many slats might wanna get a box spring because it'll provide a ton of durability and support to your mattress setup. Now, who shouldn't get a box spring? I've talked a lot of good things about box springs, but they may not be right for everyone, especially if you happen to have an all foam mattress. This may hurt instead of help your bed's performance. See, box springs have coils, and if they happen to potentially break through and puncture your all foam bed, that could be a really big problem and probably also void your warranty. If you have an all foam bed or a latex bed, you might wanna opt for something like a slatted bed frame or a flat foundation because that'll provide more support. You might wanna go the route of a standard bed frame or an adjustable base if you do happen to have that all foam bed. And also something to consider is you don't wanna have a wide gap in between those slats because you don't want the bed to seep through it. Now you might skip a box spring if you happen to want your bed on the floor. Now while a foundation might probably be a better option, some people may just like putting their bed on the floor. You might wanna do it because of economic reasons, but at the end of the day, the floor is a good option too. You know, while the floor may be your choice, I just personally think that a mattress is a big purchase and you wanna protect it. If you do happen to keep your bed on the floor, definitely put a mattress protector down. You don't want any creepy crawlies or any water getting spilled on it. Over here at the summer yard, we have reviewed bed frames and adjustable bases. So if you wanna maybe look at some of those and potentially save some money, check out our website, myslumberyard.com. We should have some coupon codes so you can get that mattress off the floor. 
Now, if you already have a box spring, but you're getting a new mattress, we would generally suggest you get a new box spring too, you know, because box springs can be places where dust might settle and dirt gets on. It might not look that good, you know, with your old mattress. I like to think of it like this. If you're getting a brand new car, you're not gonna put your old wheels from your old car on your brand new car, you know? Just something to think about. But that's been a crash course on box springs. You probably want my final verdict and you're probably asking yourself, do I want a box spring? Do I need a box spring? Well, there can be some situations where box springs can come in handy. However, depending on what type of mattress you have or what kind of situation you're in, you might go with a box spring, you might not. It really depends on which box you're in. Oh. But that's basically all I have for you today on the topic of box springs. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up. If you like this fun video about box springs, subscribe to the channel and you can learn all about tons of different beds. If you need any more information from our website, check down below in the description. We'll have some helpful links for you down there or go to our website, mysumberyard.com. But that's basically the end of the box spring saga for the rest of the Summeryard team. My name's Wes, wishing you Good night's sleep.